Hello friends. Today we are going to see demo on new data governance feature of Snowflake that is object tagging. This feature is currently in private uh, public preview, but soon it will be released as a GA. If you have not visited my blog uh, on this topic, I would request you to please visit the same for more details. So basically what is tagging? Uh, tagging is a new feature of, uh, data under which falls under data governance which enable organization to track sensitive data for compliance, for discovery, for protection and also for the resource uses, use cases. So let's go and see some demo. So today uh, I'm going to uh, create a new database. Um, uh, under that database I am going to um, it's like uh, I'm going to create a couple of objects on which I am going to do the tagging. So for tagging, I'm going to create a new role, a separate role or, uh, based on which I will apply the tags on the objects. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's start with the demo. So currently I am on uh, connected with my uh, user and uh, I'm using account admin role to create the tag. And then I will also create a new role for which I will give the grants so that I can apply the tags uh, using the new role. So let's start with the demo. Let me create first the database. And let me create a new role called uh, object tagging admin. Let me uh, grant to create and apply the tag to the new role. And uh, I'm just giving grants to use the warehouse and the database the schema to the new role so when i'm switching to my new role i am able to uh, use all that stuff now i'm granting the new role at object admin to my user now as uh, i did all the setup part i'm switching my role to object admin so on the context menu you can see the object admin role has been uh, selected and the warehouse has been selected so i can use the warehouse object tagging database is selected the public schema is selected so now i will create two tags basically the two tag name is cost center and p2 type and then i will create uh, one table known as tag sample which has two column tag one and tag two which are basically uh, the two column and i will create a view on top of this tag sample table which will also have the same two column tag one and tag two now as i am already using the object admin uh, role i don't have to uh, switch the role but uh, i can apply the tag at the warehouse as well as table as well as uh, view so i'm just using three different uh, variation to just show you how to apply the tag but uh, you can apply tag on uh, much different level at the account level at the warehouse level at the schema level at the table level and at the column level so all those details you will be able to find on my blog. So please have a look there. So how to apply a tag on the warehouse is basically you have to do the alter warehouse warehouse name, set the tag and tag name equal to value. So basically the tag is nothing just an tag name and then it is followed by equal to sign and then the actual uh, string value as anything, just a string value. So I'm just adding the warehouse name as sales. Then I'm going to uh, alter the table uh, and then I'm going to modify a column tag one and setting the two, uh, two tags on the tag one column. So basically the first tag I'm using is cost center. So I'm assigning cost center tag to tag one column with a value of sales NL. And then I'm applying the P2 type uh, tag to tag one column with the value of confidential. So now I have altered the table of tag sample. Now I'm going to alter the view and view is almost similar to the table. I'm just going to alter the view and modify the column tag two. Here I'm only on the tag two column. I'm going to apply only single tag, which is P2 type and assign the value confidential. So now you can see that uh, cost center has been applied two times once at the uh, warehouse level with the value sales and once at the ta table column level tag one with the value sales NL. and i have also applied the p2 type confidential at the column tag one with the value confidential and once at the 
column level again but on the view at p2 tab is very confidential so two tagging for cost center tag and two tagging for p2 type at three different objects now if you want to see like uh, what all tags has been created uh, in your schema so this this show tag uh, in build function help, will help you to give you the list or the give list out the all the tags created on your schema it will only give the tag name and not the value so when we run this sorry you can see that we have two tags cost center and p2 type database is object tagging schema is public and the owner is object tagging admin because we this tagging was created based on the new rule now uh, if you want to see all the details based on the actual tagging uh, metadata view uh, which is basically part of account uses uh, shared database which is basically snowflake so we have to switch the rule because i have not given the grants uh, to access from the this current rule so i'm just switching my rule so that I, it is easier for me to select the data so if i run the query on a tag metadata table uh, this data is not yet uh, ref, uh, means like reflected to this table. Uh, generally, this uh, account uses take around 45 minutes to 3 hours uh, for majority of the table. Uh, but I am assuming within the 10-15 seconds, this data will get reflected as I have done previously as well. So, we'll just wait for 10-15 seconds. By the time, we will uh, go and show you the other table which metadata table which you can uh, go and query so basically if you want to obtain the list of all the tags in your account uh, and when you are not able to connect means like if you are not connected to your uh, schema but you want to look that from a centralized account users tag metadata table you can query this table which is basically the tag hopefully it should reflected no it is not yet reflected uh, okay, so if you want to also list the uh, list of all the association between the tag and the snowflake object So basically this tag references metadata table will give you the tag and the actual value you have assigned on the database object So it will list down all the places where you have assigned the value for a particular tag So basically in our case we have applied two tag at two different places So basically four rows should get reflected in tag references uh, but as you know that this table get uh, populated uh, after 45 minutes to 3 hours so it will take there is a uh, default natural data latency uh, to get reflect on this table so I am assuming it will not show but I have executed last time so I am assuming the older execution data should be there but I think it has also been gone but uh, never mind but uh, this this uh, metadata view uh, will get populated soon so what i am going to do is like i am going to pause my video for around 45 minutes and once i see the data in this table i will resume the video to show you there is another way as well you can uh, fetch the tag and the value is basically you can use the it build function system dollar get tag here you have to pass the tag name the object with the schema name on which that tag is created and the column name and then you will get the actual value let's see if this function can give us a value yes so this function is working properly so i have passed two tag name cost center and p2 type and uh, i provided a table name where i have applied and i found the value and uh, i also tried to fetch the same from the view so it gave me the data for the view as well but to get to see the data actually from this table uh, i need to wait for around 45 minutes to 50 minutes because i have tried this uh, in the past as well and uh, i found that this doesn't get reflected very quickly so the latency is there so let's wait for that and then uh, we will quickly wrap up this uh, demo all right so now it's already around 45 minutes to 50 minutes and now i have just queried and identified that uh, the data has been now populated under the account uses.tag table 
so these are the metadata table where we are now currently seeing so if you can see here the two tags which we uh, which i have created like p p2 type and uh, cost center has been populated and the public schema under object tagging database and the owner of the tag is object tagging admin rule and it was created today now let's move and see whether we have four rows uh, in this table uh, basically this will give the combination of the tag and the value uh, which we have assigned under uh, two object so basically i will see four rows yes now i can see that there are four rows and uh, those are assigned to their values so if you see here cost center sales nl was the value for tag sample table for tag one column and if you remember we have assigned the sales tag value to cost center tag name for a warehouse so if you will see here the object name is compute wh basically the name of my warehouse and if you see that i have assigned the p2 type for tag one column and tag two column of um, view so you will see that uh, v tag view is mentioned over here under p2 type and here under tag sample both value confidential and very confidential so now you know how to uh, view the data of the tags and how you can view the references uh, along with the tag the value uh, which is tagged against uh, those tags can be viewed using tag references there is another uh, uh, like a uh, way you can uh, get those values is basically you can return the tag value associated with the specified tag and the snowflake object or column use the system dot get tag get tag function so basically this is a system defined function which you can uh, also use to get the values uh, you have to pass the tag name uh, that tag object name along with the schema name and the domain basically whether it's a column or table or a view so now i have passed uh, this into uh, two value i want to fetch the value of p2 type tag and cosent tag for the tag sample table let's see what is the value so i can also find the values of the tag and if i want to view for the tag view i will also find the value for the p2 type so basically there are two ways you can see either you can use this inbuilt system uh, function or you can also view that using your tag references and if you only want to see the tag you can use the tag uh, metadata table or you can also show the tag to list down the tag of particular schema so hope you like the demo thank you